Cannabidiol, popularly known as CBD, is one of the over 150 phytocannabinoids we know of today. CBD is increasingly studied and used along with THC. Contrary to popular belief, CBD is a psychoactive cannabinoid, but unlike THC, it has no psychotropic effect, does not alter consciousness or sensory perception, does not get you high, and has significant therapeutic effects. The anxiolytic effect can help us manage stress without producing tolerance or dependence, as with benzodiazepines, which are the usual alternative. Its anti-inflammatory effect acts on neuroinflammatory processes and diseases, which cause the symptoms, whether or not of autoimmune origin, with the advantage of not having the side effects of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs or corticosteroids. In addition, CBD is generally well tolerated and can be administered with corticosteroids, but not with NSAIDs. The combination of the anxiolytic and anti-inflammatory effect creates an analgesic effect, as it acts by modulating the perception of pain and especially helps patients with chronic pain, who often suffer from anxiety and depression. In low doses, it helps to modulate the unwanted psychotropic effect of THC, which is used to calm nausea and vomiting. Another use of cannabidiol with a very high success rate is the treatment of refractory epilepsies, and its anti-epileptic effect can be increased with different proportions and doses of THC, CBDV, and other components of cannabis. The neuroprotective effect of CBD is being used with increasingly promising results in the treatment of neurodegenerative diseases such as Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, multiple sclerosis, and in some neuropsychiatric diseases such as schizophrenia. Another effect is the antioxidant one, very useful in some conditions, it's possible to use it on a daily basis for this purpose. In the field of animal research, the anti-tumor effect of CBD has been demonstrated, acting in different ways than THC. Clinical trials are currently underway to evaluate its efficacy in humans. On the other hand, we should keep in mind that CBD has some side effects. Its consumption causes a drop in blood pressure, so hypotensive people should be cautious with its use, especially in very hot weather. It's important to maintain proper hydration at all times. CBD is spasmolytic, i.e. it calms muscular spasms and therefore can decrease intestinal motility, leading to constipation. Constipated users should be more vigilant with diet and hydration. Dosage depends on each person, their weight, the therapeutic indication and intention of use, but it is always recommended to start with low amounts and increase the dose as its effects and tolerance is verified. CBD can have interactions with other medications, so it's important to consult a doctor before use. Cannabidiol can be found in different forms, flowers, extracts, edibles, creams, and even as an additional ingredient in different products such as oil or beers. As with other cannabinoids, smoked consumption is discouraged, and healthier forms are recommended, such as topical preparations, sublingual drops, vaporization, patches, or pills. It's important, especially if you're using CBD therapeutically, to be informed about the content of the product you're going to use. There are many options on the market today, but not all of them are reliable. It's important to ensure that the product is accompanied by the necessary analytical reports to guarantee its safety. For more information, please visit our website and check out our articles.